point in time my head i could just feel it like lingering see you girl is now dairy free i'm not going to be going vegan next week trust <laughs> i don't understand i literally never burn Feels like it's been so long since I filmed when I don't I don't know like I can't even form a sentence this is probably a really bad time to start filming hello and welcome back to my channel um I thought I'd film a nice little weekend vlog for you it's actually a Thursday night um but it's bank holiday weekend so we have Saturday Sunday and Monday off work which I'm really excited about I just feel like all the weeks have been just a bit weird recently I found like the very first couple weeks of lockdown not that bad and now I feel like I'm going through a weird patch again I'm really hoping it's gonna be a good weekend I want to get quite a few things done um yeah I just really felt like vlogging I really feel like chatting to you guys because it's been so long I know it probably sounds really weird when youtubers say i've like oh i really miss vlogging and i really miss talking to you guys i feel like vlogging is a form of therapy and i probably sound a bit crazy saying that but I, like it genuinely is especially more like vlogging more so than like a sit down haul or something like that i'm not really i've never really been like a phone person like a facetime person i've never really been me like i prefer just seeing people in person or like i'm just quite a texter which is kind of ironic given the whole lockdown situ or if my hair looks a bit of a mess i have had it in a bun um so yeah it's a bit like messy now but it's probably kind of a bad time to stop this vlog because i'm not in the best of moods right now i am wearing clothes by the way but it's like i'm naked i'm not i've got pajama shoes on the vest i basically i don't know if any of you watching this have ever struggled with headaches or migraines or anything like that i am very lucky that i've never had it really really bad but maybe maybe year 12 that i started getting them quite regularly um, and again it's probably not that bad they're not as bad as some people and they're not as regular as some people and i tend to go through patches of having a lot of them and then i have a time like a period of time where i don't have them a lot We've, i've been getting them quite a bit recently which is ironic because normally the things that cause headaches when i'm like stressed i'm really busy i'm really tired things like that so i'd get them like from work um and when you get them from work that is the worst when you've got like yeah, it's like the worst when you get them in work and you've got to try and get through the rest of your day. But um, I think the reason I have one today is because apparently, I didn't realise this till earlier, but apparently there was meant to be like a storm today and we never had one. And normally the weather really affects my headache, which sounds mental, but... Um, it's not even that it's been a really bad one. Like today's has been fine, it's just a normal headache, it's fine. And that's what they're like most days. But it gets me so down. I know it's so pathetic. It's literally just a headache. It's not the worst thing in the world, like by any stretch of the imagination. But when I do get them, I just get really down because even if like, it was like a little plan that I had, so like this evening, I was thinking like, oh yeah, I'll do this and I'll do this. And I just can't do them because I've got a headache. I just lie there and it's like my whole evening's wasted. And that's what I find so frustrating when it's like, okay, so I've just worked all day. And now I've got headaches, so I can't do anything in the evening. So all I've done today is work, so I've like not done anything I want to do. But yeah, so Thursday evening, I I was meant to do... I can't believe I haven't done this still. At work, it's coming up to year end, so it's basically what it means is it's the end of the financial year. So it's like technically the same as like an appraisal, but not like what other companies would probably call it. You know, it's just so hard to like write things about yourself it sounds so stupid but to like i don't know anyway i'm meant to be doing that tonight but i don't really know if i want to so so what i might do now is i might go sit on the sofa and chill and watch Montreal. um i've been trying to watch it really slowly because i get really sad when really good series come to an end so i'm really dragging it out even though we're like nowhere near the end we're literally on like season two <laughs> which is pathetic and i'm already dragging it out but We've got to make it last. Hopefully I'll be in a better mood to speak to you guys tomorrow. I've been talking for ages. But there are so many things I just want to talk to you about and update you on. So it's Friday evening. We're done for the week. Thank holiday weekend. I'm really excited about it actually. Um, even though I've got literally no plans. I have no idea what I'm going to do. But I'm um, just about to go on a walk. I've just got changed. Because it's actually a little bit chilly out. It's a little bit windy. I've just got changed actually. And... Would you believe it's Hughes the mess? I got a couple of deliveries earlier, which I was just going through. Would you believe I have jeans on? I know, shock horror. Oh, that's a bit dodge. That needs blending out. Um, yeah, I've got jeans on. To be fair, they are Topshop um, journey jeans, so they're very, very stretchy. I'm quite proud of myself. I've got jeans on. First time that I'm actually wearing jeans out since lockdown, I think. Um, 
But yeah, I'm about to go on a nice little walk, which I'm excited for. It's really nice out. I need to wipe this bun on my head. I'll show you the deliveries I got earlier in a minute. Um, I've got a few things actually. We'll do a little haul when I get back. Um, and yeah, I'll update you. But yeah, work is done. Apart from I need to finish off that year end thing that I was talking about um, last night. I need to finish that off. I've done a lot more of it today, but I still think I need to make like a lot more changes. I'm actually on study leave next week. But yeah, yeah, and I'll catch up with you when I'm back and do you guys a little haul. Back from my walk, as you can see. It looks like I haven't been anywhere, but I promise i have um i've been going on them like fairly regularly to be fair to myself i've been doing pretty good in that respect yeah i've got a few little bits on my bedroom floor that i need to sort out but before i do that i want to show you some of the things i've got recently uh because i've just been doing so much online shopping still why are we not focusing there we go sorry if the camera's a little bit wonky or sat on a box it's got these um boxes to store stuff in this one's got like nail stuff in and some makeup bags and bits but yeah they're over there in my shelves i posted these on my instagram story i've still got the floppy bun situ so don't mind that it's so pathetic but it's been ever since i've had my room done and now my room's really nice and i have such nice bed in it, i'm looking a bit orange and a bit greasy it's the light in here it's just not doing me many favors but yeah also i know i've been talking about it for so long but a room tour is coming soon i just want to get a couple more bits to finish it off i mostly curtains because it looks a little bit stupid me doing a room tour about curtains um but i haven't chosen any because it's really hard to choose curtains online anyway i'm getting massive sidetracked but a room tour will be coming soon um anyway i've got these pajamas they are so gorgeous i love them i was thinking about them all last weekend and i finally just bit the bullet and got them i was texting my friends being like do i get these do i not because they were quite expensive they are on sale at the minute i'll link them down below so you can check them out if you want they are on sale but nonetheless they're still pretty expensive for a pair of pajamas anyway they are such lovely quality um i got the black one they also have blush pink it has like the blush pink pipe around the edge so like oh it's just such nice quality like honestly all the fabric has a victoria's secret um written all over it which is just part of the reason why i loved it it just looks so nice i kind of wish i got an extra small in the bottoms because they're big on the waist i might see if i can exchange them just for a smaller size i've wanted to do my nails because obviously we've been in lockdown for a while and i just got a bit fed up with looking at ugly nails um but i've had my so i have like a gel kit um, but I've had my gel polishes for quite a while and I was just a little bit fed up with the colours. And the Andy is pretty expensive and I just wanted, I just wanted some cheap gel nail polishes. And um, anyway, yeah, I went on eBay and I just had a look. So I just bought these. I just thought, I, do you know what? They were really cheap. I thought I'll give them a go, see what happens. If they're not good, then it's fine. They were really, really cheap. Yeah, since the whole like coronavirus thing, uh, literally all gel nail brands on like ebay amazon have just really put their prices up but these were so cheap i think they were two pound 39 each which is really really cheap will be a little bit better um right let's try that again so yeah i'd done my nails last weekend last saturday so a week ago pretty much okay my camera's having me on sorry i don't know why it doesn't want to focus i don't know if you can see yeah i've done them you have got to be kidding me sorry this is really winding me up i done them last weekend and they held out really well they won't ever last as long in my opinion or well, i've never got mine to last as long as what they would last if you got them done in a salon but considering how cheap that polish was i was so impressed yeah i bought the other color um which is I'm literally using them to prop my front of my camera because it keeps tipping forward um yeah so i thought i would go back and buy another color although i'm not gonna lie this one looks really light. like it don't look very pigmented i don't know we'll see they also smell pretty strong but for £2.39 i cannot complain but yeah i can't speak for the nude color yet because i i just dropped it i can't speak for the new color because i haven't tried it but the white was really impressive so for £2.39 i was like why the hell not but to be fair bear in mind i have used a cnd base coat and top coat maybe that's the secret though like get a more expensive base coat and top coat um and then like a cheaper color i don't know and don't hate me for this i've got a new blazer i don't need any more blazers but i got a new one i bought one right before lockdown <sighs> i don't know anyway i got another blazer i love blazers i wear them to work i wear them on nights out i wear them on weekends with literally a vest top like this from primark they're like two pound fifty i still really miss primark by the way um yeah and just jeans and a blazer oh i just love it it's such a nice outfit yeah if any of you um 
really like blazers i'd really recommend lipsy blazers they are such good quality and they are such a nice fit they're actually kind of like the balmain they're kind of like those blazers and if you know those blazers they're like i think the kardashians wear something like that they're like a thousand pounds blazer it's ridiculous or something like that i don't actually know because i don't have one obviously but they are really expensive they're normally about 70 pounds their blazers so i've been keeping an eye out for one on i've been keeping an eye out for one for ages so i've been looking at like depop stuff like that but when I was trying to find that blazer, I found this one and I just couldn't say no. <laughs> it's really bad. I don't need another blazer. But um, one of the Lipsy blazers. And yeah, it's just got um, like a blue. Is it blue or black stripe? Yeah, it's actually a size 10, which isn't my size. I think my other ones are a 6 or an 8. I can't remember. But they do come up pretty tight. And my other ones are a lot more like fitted and structured than this one. This one isn't quite as structured. I think it's just like a different collection than my other ones yeah like i said they're normally like 70 pounds each so yeah she was sending this one it's basically the same as my other ones like i said maybe not as structured really lovely quality and she was just selling it on there for it was seven pounds including delivery i got it for so yeah i just thought i cannot say no to that to so put that in the wash because obviously with everything that's going on at the minute i want to be a little careful you don't even know how badly i want to just put those new pajamas on and get into bed but i'm not going to because i've got to wait till my birthday <laughs> Um, my birthday's ages away, by the way, so that's fun. I get into bed and watch my fave program of our One Tree Hill. I watched it earlier while I was, like, having lunch. I've got so much better, by the way, at taking lunch breaks in my day. I take a full hour lunch nearly every day now, so yay me. Um, but yeah, I might just get in bed, open the window because it's really hot in here. Might just watch One Tree Hill, chill, go on my phone. Just have a nice, relaxed Friday evening. Um, and yeah, I'm going to do what I always do at the weekends just because it makes my weekends that little bit better, which is I plan a list. It sounds so stupid. I'll write a little list out of all the things that I want to do at the weekend. Even if I'm writing on the list, go for a walk, film a YouTube video. Honestly, sometimes I like the stupidest little list things, but it just gives me like something to look forward to. But yeah, also we've got, I need to remember, we have family quiz night tomorrow night and I need to write the questions. We're doing a round each this week. So I need to write my like set of questions, but I haven't done it. So yeah, I need to do that tomorrow. But yeah, I'm gonna go get a drink, some gasping, and get in bed and live my best life on my Friday night. Yeah, I'll catch up with you in a bit. <sighs> Getting in bed is just always one of the best feelings. Oh my gosh, I found this the other day. I haven't worn it in literally so long i think i've probably worn it like twice since i had it like a really big oversized yankees uh baseball tee obsessed love it obviously i got it when i was in new york which i miss very much um this is actually did i get yeah i did i got this from um the victoria's secret store as well on fifth avenue what was it i can't remember they had like a whole new york section anyway i'm in bed it was so good and cozy. I might get some snacks to eat while I'm watching One Tree Hill. But yeah, this is my night. Hello again. It's actually now uh, Saturday. I was about to say Thursday. <laughs> I don't know what made me think it was Thursday. It's now a Saturday evening. Um, the sun is shining, as you can tell. I I feel like I've just wasted the day. I got off to a bit of a late start. I didn't actually do anything this morning i got up and got ready but <laughs> that was literally it <laughs> so but i guess that is better than nothing I'm unbelievably bloated from dinner i don't know why i don't know what i've ate that's like <laughs> caused this ridiculous bloating what was i saying oh yeah it's saturday evening we didn't do too much today and yeah we popped out for a bit earlier and then by the time i got home oh my gosh i was done over i just had like a bowl of fruit for lunch I think it proves that that was definitely not enough because <laughs> I literally just felt so like just off like ill but just not really like anything in particular I just really didn't feel good we have family quiz night tonight which I'm very excited about um we basically this week thought we would do a round of questions each and change it up after that because we um still have a little bit of time I don't know whether to go on a walk maybe I've got a little bit of a headache again I don't want to complain i'm not going to talk about it but i'm just a bit worried i don't want to make it worse because i just want to enjoy the quiz but at this point in time my head i can just feel it like 
lingering. I'm a couple episodes away from the end of season two of One Tree Hill. Um, like I said, really take my time to watch it. It's getting so good. I'm like, I'm obsessed. <laughs> morning it's sunday morning it's about midday now i uh kind of just spent the morning on the sofa i watched some um i was watching some stuff on tv and then uh, i was doing some youtube bits on my laptop i can take my hair out now because i've out finished getting ready yeah i've just got these like loose wavy heatless curls um which i haven't done for a while actually happy Sunday. It's so happy it's bank holiday weekend because I was thinking earlier yesterday literally flew by so I'm glad I have an extra day. I've got some more YouTube bits to do. Um might do that this morning. I don't really know what to do now. I've just got ready. Um I'm gonna wash my car again today. Um I've already washed it once, it's been in lockdown, it's really bad but ever since I've had my car, I basically always take it to a car wash, which it's probably not the best um so yeah i washed it a couple weeks ago didn't realize that when you're not driving your car it gets like 10 times dirtier so much quicker because it's just sat there so like all the rain and dirt and sorry if you can hear the door banging i'll keep you updated i might have some lunch in a bit um yeah i don't know we'll see pretty sure i've just realized that i haven't left my room for this vlog obviously i have but i haven't filmed anything outside of my room <laughs> so i don't know what's that bit there doing um it's a bit loud in here because the uh dishwasher is on that's it i'm about to make some lunch i can see dad is sorting the shed out the garden is covered in stuff um yeah i'm gonna make some lunch i'm gonna have some like proper lunch Today, so I don't feel ill like I did yesterday. A bowl of fruit apparently was not satisfactory. I'm surprised I wasn't hungry to be honest after I ate it. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna make some proper lunch. I might have my favorite thing at the minute, which is bagels with um, Philadelphia and either smoked salmon or cucumber. I am still need to talk to you guys about something I've been doing to try and help my skin. We got like a new thing of um, Life Up Philadelphia the other day so I can resist. So yeah, I probably shouldn't be having it. But yeah, I'll explain later what I've been um, attempting to do since last week. Do I want Chris? Don't know. Yeah, I'm going to eat this and chill on the sofa and I might also read some of my book that I'm reading at the minute because, you know, we have all the time in the world. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that. My car is all nice and clean, which makes me really, really happy. Um, I, yeah, literally only cleaned it a couple weeks ago, but needed a good clean again. But yeah, it didn't take me too long. Um, oh, my finger is really sore. Don't know what that's about. Um, I'm just going to do, I nearly forgot about this. Um, I've just got to do a little Insta campaign, I guess. Just need to get the brief up now, so I can't really remember what exactly it was. Um, but yeah, I just need to take a little photo and Instagram story. It's really, really cute. Um, yeah, I need to do that. And then we're having... <laughs> oh, how funny. Last time I vlogged, I said we was having fake Nando's for dinner and it never happened. Um, kind of similar this time. We was meant to have a fake away Nando's the other day. And we never did, but... Um, I have been told we're having it today. So yeah, I won't hold my breath. We'll have to wait and see if that actually happens or not. Yeah, and then I don't know. I think I might go for a walk after dinner. I don't know what time I'm having dinner, but I feel like I don't have time to go now. I really want to go on just like a really nice long walk. Um, the weather's got a little bit nicer. It's meant to be sunny, but not quite. Um, yeah, it's been a bit like gloomy the past couple of days. I'm really freaking windy. Jesus Christ, like mega windy. I'm hungry already, which is not too good is it literally cannot believe i forgot i was vlogging um bear with you i put you in a really weird place oh where's my hairbrush i noticed that earlier that was gone 
just got back i don't know what the last thing i vlogged was i washed my car did i tell you that i literally soaked myself the wind kept like blowing the water back into my face so that was great i was thinking of making doing a little bake with me i don't know if anyone would watch that but nonetheless i was going to bake some cookies anyway so i thought i could film it but yeah i was doing some youtube stuff had dinner basically guys so i started filming a video which was gonna be, it was suggested by one of you guys, I can't remember the girl's name now, that's really rude of me, why have I forgot her name? A really lovely girl suggested, why don't I do like a testing origin skincare video? Did I say origins? I meant the ordinary, I don't know why I said origins. Um, a girl suggested I do like a test in the ordinary skincare video. And I was like, she is genius. So I got myself some skincare and i was gonna do it for two weeks which we're now over that point we're actually nearly at three weeks not really done a lot and so now i'm like right great should i just not upload that video then so yeah essentially that happened but because i'm so fed up with my skin i don't know how to fix it obviously because i wasn't able to fix it by now lauren who if any of you don't know she's my best friend um seeing her tomorrow actually which is very exciting obviously from a two minute distance suggested a few things that i try and one of those things so i did my mom actually one of those things she suggested that i try was to go dairy free so your girl is now dairy free actually a bit crazy she was right i had and i knew that i had a lot of dairy in my diet and when i say a lot like i mean a lot and i might do a separate video on this but yeah i had an obscene amount of dairy every single day with every meal with every snack like it was literally ridiculous i don't want to say i'm like completely dairy free because i'm not i'm not doing it for the reason to be like dairy free and i'm not going to be going vegan next week trust that's definitely never going to happen i'm literally just doing it because i want to try and clear my skin i'm so proud of myself that i've done a week and a half of being nearly dairy free i've had a couple bits of dairy here and there the only i'm trying to think the only actual bits of dairy that i've had was a halloumi today of my dinner oh and for a couple days I've had Philadelphia on my bagel, which is kind of annoying and kind of frustrating, but I need to try and get a dairy-free cream cheese style thing. I don't mind too much if there's bits of dairy here and there because I literally am still having like a tenth of the dairy that I used to have, probably even less. Yeah, I'm just going to do it until I feel like it's worked or it hasn't worked or whatever. But yeah, I actually just feel like for the future now, I'm not going to have as much dairy as I used to because like I found a lot of alternatives that have actually kind of worked. Thank God I don't Monday tomorrow, very excited. The only thing I know I'm gonna do is see Lauren. She is literally just coming down for the day. She's, we're gonna be obviously socially distance and everything. Go sit outside somewhere and catch up. That's gonna be really good because I don't think I've seen her since January. That makes me feel sick. Long term no see is Monday. I thought I would quickly come on here to kind of catch you up i went on a nice walk this morning it is so hot today um it's bank holiday which is very nice don't mind me sat on my stairs to talk to you then yeah i saw lauren like i said we i got a domino's delivered to mine and then yeah we both met and um and just sat outside on the grass and ate our domino's together and had a good catch up just watching amy's live do you see that i don't know if you can i don't know if any of you guys watch her but i love her video she's doing a live over on quiz which is really really cool um yeah i'm just doing that I might go i don't know what to do with my day now i might go sit in the garden um i might i kind of need to read my book right basically <laughs> so pathetic do not judge me i set myself a goal for this month um to read one and a half books i know that is such a random amount but i'm a really slow reader and i felt like i could do more than one but i didn't think i could do two i'm like i feel i feel like it said i was 20 percent way through the book I'm sure it's said that. I'm reading it on my Kindle. It's not actually my Kindle, it's my dad's Kindle, so I don't know where mine is. I'm trying to get more into reading, so I'm just really not a big reader. But um, yeah, so I might read more of that because I need to get halfway by the end of the month. So pathetic, but yeah, we're going to try and do it. I really want to go on just a nice long walk later tonight. Yeah, I've been saying I want to do it for days and I haven't done it. I hope you're all well. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I feel like it's been boring because I literally have filmed most of these clips in my room and I've just been literally talking so much so i'm really really sorry if this is really boring thank you so much for watching i love you all loads and i'll see you again in my next video which hopefully will be a little bit more exciting than this one i'll see you next time bye i'm sorry i had to come back on here to show you this it's quite a few hours later now i know why you never wear ripped jeans in the sun it's unbelievably painful 
just put after this one on it literally oh, can't even tell you the pain and <laughs> i don't understand i literally never burn like every holiday never get a tan literally like last summer if you remember my lanzarote vlogs i was sat in the sun for hours one day trying to get a tan and i didn't tan the tiniest bit didn't really burn either what is going on like look at my knee it's so painful i'm such an idiot honestly you wear sun cream kids honestly we sat in the sun for like less than an hour and a half because the sun kept going in and out <sighs> i don't understand how that happened anyway i'm gonna go on a walk now or try to because every time i bend my knee oh my god the pain i can't even tell you <laughs>